Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today is my um, Premier League prediction for week 25. Um, obviously it's midweek and then you've got the weekend, but for the weekend uh, prediction there will be another video very soon. So without any further ado, guys subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Swansea Arsenal. Now Arsenal ain't had that best of times at the lower league games but uh, Swansea have struggled to score in the Premier League to be fair oh. Excuse me I think I'm just going to inch an Arsenal away win on that one purely because of what Swansea ain't been doing in the Prem so for that one I'll go Arsenal away win. My next one is West Ham versus Crystal Palace. Um now West Ham I was gonna say slightly turned around but they got knocked out against Wigan in the cup. Do I think they could go on a downer? Yes. Do I think they could will possibly go on a downer, maybe, um, but for that knockout against Wigan and Palace has started to wake up as well, sorry Brighton fans I've got to say it, um, so for that one I'm going to call it a draw. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is Huddersfield Liverpool, um, now hands down I go Liverpool away win. Um Huddersfield have got to go play a replay in the FA Cup against Burnley. I don't know when that is or due to be played. Um but obviously for that draw against Burnley and what Liverpool are doing at the minute I'll go Liverpool away win. The next one I'm gonna to talk to you about is Chelsea Bournemouth. Um Oh, this is hard. Chelsea looking to cover two parts. Um, I'm not the only one that's picked up on it. Uh, Conte is looking for a striker. Apparently he's paid interest to Peter Crouch, Glenn Murray, uh, Jekko from Moan. Even apparently interested in all these strikers. No one really knows what's going on at the club. Um, so for that one I'm going to throw a shock in there and I'm going to go Bournemouth away win. The next one is Everton Leicester. Um, Leicester has obviously um, just beaten Peterborough uh, quite comfortably. Um, I don't know how Everton got on. I think they still got to play. Um, but for that one, I'm going to go a draw. Next one I want to talk to you about is Newcastle Burnley. Um, now, yet again, Newcastle are covered two parts. The fans want the ownership deal completed. Apparently, there's not one on the table. Much so I know. Um, so they were covered up in the air. But Burnley are squeezing them 1 0, 2 0 results. So, for that one, I'm going to go Burn Burnley away win. Now, the next one is a game I hopefully should be going to. Whether or not, whether I am or not, I still don't know. Um, is Southampton Brighton. Now, Brighton just did win the FA Cup game against Middlesbrough at the Riverside Stadium by a very lucky and hard deflection. Um, as far as the team goes, I'm still not 100% sure. Um, I've only watched a quick highlights. We really had two shots throughout the whole 90 minutes. And Southampton won 1-0 against Watford um, at St Mary's. So... 
for that one yet again I'm going to call it a draw it's going to be a lot of draws this week if I'm right um, the next one is Man City West Brom Man City West Brom Man City West Brom um, at the Etihad uh, now yet again Man City um, have been complaining about this and that and why am I on the verge of West Brom? Um, Alan Pardew was saying about the VAR which was used in their cup game against Liverpool um, saying I'm not sure about it I'm not I uh, think it's right for the game right just going to point something out and even some of you don't like it some of you are VAR is needed for the game but it's not the referee's fault why they're so far behind on why we don't know which way decisions go and what they're looking at. This is what I mean when I say football is so far behind the um, in the uh, electrical um, department in sport. You look at tennis; they got big screens, whether it's in or out. In rugby in NFL. The FA have took us so long in making this VAR possible but it is needed give the refs time and then I think it's a bit like goal on technology when we when it first started coming into the Premier we weren't sure how it's going to work um, now we all know referees got to watch on it, um, five breaks if it goes in so VAR will work in the near future just needs to be given a bit of time and so just give it a bit of time I know it, it frustrates me a bit um, obviously I ain't been in the stadium when it's been used as yet but if Brighton's a five in the Prem then I will be next season and obviously it's, all, it's a, used in the World Cup this year so I will be watching that as well, all of that and with that in mind there will be a prediction every day on this channel for the World Cup games on the day so my channel will be getting pretty busy towards possibly now towards the end of the season and then into the World Cup um, so for that game anyway I'm going to go Man City home win now the next one is Stoke Watford. Stoke started well under Paul Lambert. Um, I ain't gonna take that away. Um, I think they won two 0 in his first game. Stoke fans, correct me wrong if I'm wrong. Um, but we're playing Watford. Um, for that one, I'm just gonna call it Stoke home win. Watford just lost to Southampton in the cup. They're away from home again. Um, yeah, so for that one, I'll go Stoke home win. Now the last one. Now this is a hard one. This is so tough. Spurs versus Man United at Wembley. Oh, God. Which way do I go? Do I go draw? You know what? I'm going to throw a shock in there. I think it's going to be a draw. Um, Man United beat Yovi on the FA Cup. But Newport, uh, Tottenham drew against Newport at Newport's ground. And it took Harry Kane 86 minutes to do that to get the equaliser. Um, whether they should have been out of sight or whether Newport should have had a goal because uh, Trippier bend it over and hopefully the ball will go out for a throw but obviously Newport got ahead on it um, and playing um, so for that one I'm going to call a draw um, so guys that's the end of today's predictions if I go to Southampton the vlog will be up before the next Premier League prediction video it's on a Wednesday night so it should go up on the Thursday um, 
and then on the Friday I should be getting a weekend prediction video up um, anyway guys that's, a, that's the end of the video for now guys if you're new to my channel subscribe for more thanks for watching and ciao for now